So just when life is starting to get pretty good, I got my own place, I got a second job, I got health insurance and all that crazy stuff. Life's going pretty good and then, why am I talking like that? And I'm keeping up with twice a day uploads, uh, although just barely keeping up with it. But like, everything is going so amazing right now. And then I, uh, I got a flat tire this morning. That was incredibly frustrating. Honestly, I think I may have accidentally kind of caused it myself. You know how like every fall the air pressure kind of decreases because the air gets more dense when it gets colder. Well, I got the low tire pressure set light and I just didn't get around to it for a while to add more air. And so finally I did. I put more air in, but I wasn't sure how much to put in. I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking in the, the user's manual, the inside of the door frame on the tire itself. The tire itself said 44 uh, PSI for the max. And so I was like, I think I'll just go with 40 because I don't want to over inflate them and no, oh, 40 seems good enough. And it was fine until like two days later, which was yesterday, the low pressure sensor came back on, which is really confusing and weird. And I was like, um, okay, I'll check it out when I get time <laughs> because I didn't make time. It made time for me. <laughs> the first like quarter mile of my drive, it immediately sounded weird. And I thought, oh, that's just the snow. This is my first time driving this direction on this road. So it's like, oh, the snow just sounds weird. And then the whole car just starts, <laughs> ah, shit. So I get out to see what's going on. Immediately I notice the tire is off the rim. So maybe I overinflated them? Oh, right, right, right. What makes me think is that I, that I may have overinflated them is then this morning, not only did the low tire pressure sensor come on, but it also said inflate the tires to 36 PSI. But the tires themselves said they can take up to 44. So it's like, it should be fine, but I guess not. Long story short, I am very fortunate that my sister married a mechanic. So they got to tow me and they think maybe the tire might even still be okay, that they can just clean it all up and put it back on. But of course, if it's not any good, then yeah, I'll just, I'll have to get a new tire. So that kind of sucks. But luckily there was plenty of helpful people who are willing to pull over and stop and let me borrow their phone so I could call work and be like, hey, I'm going to be late. <laughs> and I could call my parents. Well, because I forgot, I left my phone here. I stopped bringing my phone to work, well, almost a year ago now, because it's just one less thing to clean every day. So yeah, someone let me borrow their phone and then I got to ride back to my place so I could get my phone. So it was a frustrating day, but also kind of a reminder for me that it is okay for me to rely on other people once in a while, that I don't have to do everything all on my own, which I generally tend to default to doing. And that there are good people out there who are willing to help in the same way that I try my best to be a good person to help others. So a frustrating day. All in all, not that bad. It could have been so much worse. I hope your day is going better than mine. <laughs> I hope you can at the very least use this as a very subtle reminder that there is still good in the world. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more twice a day uploads. And if you want to help support my channel, then share all my videos with everyone you think might enjoy them. And take care.